welcome yet again to my channel. If you did not know already who I am, my name is Kelly, and basically I'm on a journey to become the person I was meant to be. Kind of like a self-improvement journey, I guess you could call it. So today I kind of wanted to talk about a book that I read recently, and when I say recently, I finished it yesterday. So I figured I'd talk about it while it's still fresh on my mind, and I did, I did take some notes. So hopefully this is not as rambly as some of my other videos have been. But anyway, so this book is called Sovereignty, The Battle for the Hearts and Minds of Men. And it's by the author Ryan Mickler, who, um, he does the Order of Man movement, Order of Man podcast. He's a pretty cool dude. And so I do have to say the book was originally intended for, for men, dudes. But I honestly think that has some really good advice, really good principles for anyone, girls or guys. So what is the this book about? It basically talks about how men have um, been under attack by society and, who, and men who have been uh, losing the battle against themselves. He mentions this thing called the natural man, and I think it was... Um, a very a very good point that he made and I in my life I have seen it as well as like the natural man is the the person inside every single person who is really crafty so like this lies steals really selfish just does the stuff that is um, easiest you know very very complacent very destructive if you lose your battle to it and it seems and what he was talking about in the book is that men and honestly I think women as well have just been losing to the natural man. They have been vanquished by the natural man. And sometimes, this is just my own input, but it seems like losing to that natural man, just letting that natural man run around wild, just doing whatever uh, feels good in the moment, whatever, it seems like that's kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? It's not condemned by society nowadays. It's more... It's encouraged. There you go. It's encouraged, it seems like. In my opinion. But anyway, so where was I going with this? Let me see. Ah, so basically the book is about how men have lost their sovereignty due to society and this natural man. And basically the book talks about how to, you know, get that sovereignty back. How to retake the sovereignty. And I think that is a very good mission to have. And not just if you're a dude. I think everyone should be sovereign over themselves and be able to submit that lazy part of themselves and be able to actually achieve the things they want to achieve. So, let me see. Um, he talks a lot about um, like regaining your independence and how, and how one does that. And what I really like about the book is that he actually puts in a very straightforward thing that you can do to actually start achieving the things that you want to achieve, to actually start becoming sovereign over yourself. And he calls it the 12 week uh, battle planner, I believe. And actually, I think I'm going to do a video um, with me putting together my own little uh, 12 week battle thing. And I'm gonna follow it for the next 12 weeks and we shall see what happens. But yeah, um, so he talks about the uh, code of ethics, kind of like the values that men should have or things that are just noble in in general and help you reclaim your sovereignty or our values of a sovereign man. So I just figured I'd read what they are. There's 13 of these. And it's self-reliance, intentionality, discernment, wisdom, ownership, strength, humility, integrity, conviction, self-awareness, discipline, and mastery, and finally courage. So yeah, I mean, like I said before, this book was originally meant for men, but I think if every single person lived like that, who really cared about, you know, living intentionally, having discernment about how they should use their time, being wise about their finances, taking ownership of the mistakes they make, you know, that type of thing, I think the world would be a lot better place. That's just, that's just my opinion. What do I know? <laughs> but those are definitely things that I want to start striving to uh, build within myself. But again... That, that's just my, my put, input, my take. Yes. Anywho, let me see. So, would I recommend this book 
I would say, I would say yes. I mean, there's other books that go into a lot more detail and stuff like that, but this is, it doesn't go so in-depth. It just tells you these things, gives you good examples um, to bring home a point, and then it tells you what to do to actually change. I mean, it's always up to you. You have to be the one to decide, hey, I'm going to follow this program. Um, it's up to you to actually take action on this book. <clears throat> but I think, I think it's a very good read. It's a very, a very quick read. If, I mean, it took me like a week and a half, two weeks. That's because I was kind of procrastinating with reading and stuff like that. But yeah, it's not super long. And I mean, I have not done the 12 week battle planner to say, hey, this actually works. But it seems really legit. Like, let me see. Let me go over here. It has you write out a vision of the life you want, of all the different aspects of your life. Like, what is your vision in terms of your body or your finances or your relationship? And this breaks everything down really, really well, I think. Then it um, has you d define your objectives. Like, okay, this is what my body looks like. This is my vision. Now, I have to de define actual goals. Like, I want to have a six pack. And then... And then after that, it goes through the tactics, like how you actually do that. And then after you finally go through this 12 week um, plan, I suppose, it has an after action review, which is just you um, analyze what you did well, what you didn't do well, what you could do better, and how to make things better, and that type of thing. So it seems, it's short, but it seems very thorough. So would I recommend this book? Yes. I was gonna say or think about any caveats and it's like not really it's a pretty quick read it's pretty simple and I think it applies to men and women the same um, but yeah I don't have anything else to add hmm other than you'll just have to stick around to see if this uh, little battle plan actually works or if I make it work because honestly it's really up to me whether whether it works or not I think that's how it goes. It's like you have to take ownership of the plan and be like, oh my gosh, I didn't do all the things that I put on the plan. The plan fails. Like, no, you didn't do this stuff. But anyway, that's a tangent. I will stop this video now. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this added slight, some slight value to your life. Um, go ahead and uh, give this book a check or a look if you like. Um, and... I appreciate you, and if you have any thoughts, go ahead and leave them in the comments. If you don't have any thoughts, that's alright. Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> alright, well, I'll see you guys in the next one.